At this point in time, there's like six or seven people in my apartment. They all have meat in between their legs with her naked ass just chilling. And I just opened the door wide open to share what is mine. What's up, J-Fam? My name is Jack. I'm JC. And guys, what's going on? You saw the thumbnail. You saw the title. You clicked on this video. I don't know why. Stop it. Why do you keep doing this to yourself? Come on, you know this is just a cringe fest. JC, why is it that every time we start filming, you got something in your eye? I don't know. All right, guys, are you ready to watch this? Ready? Anyways, for JJ's, we're back at it again, J fam. We're about to tell you a story time. Have we done a story time? I don't think so. I don't know. I think I know we have a good one, and I thought, you know what? Why keep personal, embarrassing moments in your life a secret when you can like tell people and then promote merch at the same time? Which, yes. by the way, link in the description, guys. The best merch you've ever seen. It'll be gone oh, in my a few gosh. weeks. Good luck keeping the women off of you when you're wearing something like this, and ladies. I don't know what to promise you. I'm a guy. What 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 um, would get a girl to buy a merch? We're not good it's salesmen. It's soft. I mean, at this point, they just don't have a choice. Now I, I feel bad. I'm like, I I, is this manipulation? I know. I honestly it's feel bad. It's soft. Guys, don't let that get to your head. But in the meantime, we're going to talk about something that's near and dear to our hearts, aka naked women. You know, when 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 a man sees a woman and all of her uh, beauty, sort of speaking, in her birthday I'm suit, to be with respectful. everything out. What does that mean? Birthday suit? It's naked. It's like, oh, that was what I was wearing on my birthday. Day. You know, you came out of your mom. I did come out of that thing. That could be a story for another date. My head, head was, was too big. Your head was huge. No, I went when because I'm friends with his sister. Oh god, here we go. And I, I spent the night one time, and I was like, Olivia, can you get me like a glass of water? Damn so it. she brought me, <laughs> she brought me this mug of water, and there's like a baby on it. His head looks so unproportional to his body. It looks like, you know when you skew a picture? Leave a like and we'll do a reaction to my baby pictures because it's not going to be normal. So my funny. head was like the size of my torso. Like literally. Wasn't your dad like, get that thing back in there? I don't know what it is. <laughs> he probably just tried to like, he's using his leg. He just like kicked you. Um, You're cute now though. That's I made all that. that matters. Well, God, I'm glad. Yeah, thankfully the rest of my body finally grew. I there is one thing you. that grew just exponentially and we just can't do anything about it. It was a dark and stormy day, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm totally lying, actually. It was really sunny. It was really sunny, sunny, so we had the window open. We were letting the sunlight in, you know, some vitamin vitamin D. Yes. Yes. So basically, one day, I'm in the living room, chilling. I'm doing my thing with my other sweet mates. I live with two other guys. We're having a good time. We're cleaning up the place so that other people can come over and we're not entirely embarrassed, right? And JC decides, well, she's going to shower before everyone shows up because she smells absolutely awful. And it's totally embarrassing. I don't want to be embarrassed. Don't tell them I smell bad. I don't want to get secondhand stench. And so I was like, okay, look, you can use my shower if you pay me $10. And all of a sudden, JC hops in the shower and I can hear the shower turn on and I can also hear the music playing. I'm going in and out of my room because once again I'm cleaning everything up before people show up and all of a sudden I hear that there's no there's no more music and there's no more shower going on. I'm like okay. So I walk in the door right? Keep in mind there's about at this point in time there's like six or seven people in my apartment. They all have meat in between their legs. I don't want them seeing her naked. That's that's like my territory. I'm, I'm, I'm a protective man. I don't have any need or eagerness to share what is mine. So anyway, open the door and she's standing right here. The door is right here. She just barely made it so that I like didn't just totally expose her because I wasn't thinking. I was excited. I just opened the door wide open. I'm like, whoa, that was close when I opened the door. I almost just flashed all my friends. And I'm like, that was a I close one. I had a one. towel on. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. On my head. <laughs> So I open the door, I'm like, whoa, that was close. I shut the door. I'm kind of nervous and anxious about what just happened. I walk back out the door. I'm chilling in the living room, and all of a sudden, JC comes out. And she's like, like in front of all my friends. I was just changing, and I'm pretty sure some of your neighbors saw me naked. I didn't know the window was open. I'm like, what? I and I'm concerned, but I can't show that <laughs> level of concern in front of all my friends. I don't want them to think that I'm tripping, so I'm like, it's cool, it's whatever. And on the inside, I'm sweating nuts. I'm sweating ball sack out here, ladies and gentlemen. You better believe it. So, because I'm like, wait, what neighbor? Was he a massive football basketball player? Like, wh what am I dealing with? Am I going to get a knock on the door saying, hey, your girl's hot. Look at this picture I got of her. Like, what? Do you want to tell the story about what you were doing in here? You just basically... I was just changing. I was yeah, just putting on my right clothes. Yeah, right in front of the window. You know, sometimes my brain just doesn't work the best. <laughs> the, the sad part and funny part, but mostly a sad part, is the reason the window was open and she was exposed is because we were making TikToks. 
I don't even know why I did that. I don't know. I don't know we either. We were literally making, we were making TikToks. TikToks. If you guys haven't seen it, it's the TikTok where she jumps up on me and like elbows me, but also missed. Basically, yeah, that's why the window was open, so people could basically just look right in. And I guess JC didn't realize okay, it's that the I sun was I... beaming into the room. No, it was getting darker. No, it wasn't. Look it was face. midnight. It was. I. I. I closed my eyes the entire time. I didn't it was know. Not what, midnight. I didn't it was know like what was happening. Eight o'clock I'm at trying the to, I'm trying to justify this. Okay. I just. My eyes were closed. I. I. I went deaf for a few. For a few hours, and I hear you. Yeah, I get it. So, anyways, this story gets a little actually interesting eventually, guys. Just bear with us. So, basically, she walks out, tells us, you know, I just got seen. So, I'm like, okay. She goes back in the bathroom. So, then eventually, I come back in here. I'm like, wait, so who saw you? What's going on? She, I like, you know, you know, for the dudes watching or even girls, like when someone tells you something like that and it's your significant other, you just immediately assume the worst. I'm thinking, you know, she was pole dancing right here in front of the window. But I do funny, that on Friday nights only. Oh, thank I God. I don't, I don't, I don't the do funny that thing either. is, we're never hanging out on Friday. Night, so long story short I get over it I we have a good time that night I'm not gonna make it a big deal it's not her fault she wasn't thinking even though I did put her in the cage for a couple days but um oh. <laughs> If we keep getting more and more politically correct on the internet, like in five years, that's gonna get clipped. And I gonna know. Ruined. But until then, we're gonna keep running with it. We're all fine and dandy. We have a wonderful night. She's clothed, thank God. I was wearing clothes, yes. believe it or not. On. Until about midnight. I think we took our clothes off and then they were back on by, knowing me, about two minutes later, probably. So anyways, next day, this is funny. This is, this is why I wanted to tell this story. So I go to the gym, the apartment complex's gym, and there's this girl in there that I know, and I'm like, Hi, hi. I know her too. Talk. She's my friend. Oh. She's my friend. Okay. Basically, she proceeds to tell me, by the way, you know, I don't know if you, I don't know, this isn't that big of a deal. It went too bad. I could barely see her. She's probably just trying to give me closure. And at the time, I had pretty much decided that no one had seen her. But then I realized, wait a minute, she's a female and she saw you. With dudes, it's like x-ray vision. I see a nipple somewhere. My eyes, mm, if I go to a nude beach, it's like, my eyes are just going everywhere. Have you ever been to a nude beach? No. Me either. I'm way too insecure. And also, I'd have to shave before. That'd be weird. You got, you, there's a lot of upkeep. When you My mom went that. to a, a nude beach, and she said she was scarred for life. Did she partake? In no, the... she didn't. Okay. Can we just pretend it's not your mom and say something? No. Well, that was our horrible story time. <laughs> now you guys know why we don't tell stories. This is Jack's story time. I didn't get a word in without him. Yeah, telling okay, me to and shut I'm gonna mouth. get. Did I do that? No, because people, I, I don't mean to be that way. He didn't. No, he didn't. Now I'm sad because now I know that people are going to accuse me of being this overly bearing. No, he's controlling. not at all. I'm just really bad at telling stories, so I wanted him to do it. Hey. Hey. Family photo. That was cute. That was if cute. Someone screenshot that and post it somewhere. Anyways, guys, <laughs> hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in merch, check it out down below. We're doing our best to pop out as much content for you guys as possible. For those of you that don't know, YouTube has pretty much suppressed our entire channel since a lot of people have been subscribing. So YouTube's algorithm basically says their content sucks. They're doing something wrong. We're going to suppress their channel. And it's obvious because most of you guys have been telling us we're not popping up in your recommended. You're not getting your notifications. So if you can do us a huge favor and turn on video notifications, maybe leave a like or two. You'll make sure you're getting this wonderful content. And if you made it this far in the video, you certainly want it. But if you're interested, merch will be linked down below. Only available for about another week and then it's gone forever. Thank you so much for your guys' support. And we'll catch you later. Crackheads!